Hello and welcome to my Jet Webinar review where I'm going to be giving you not only a review but a quick demo of some of the features and how it works. Keep in mind this is a very time sensitive offer and it's going to change based upon the price and availability so I will leave my link down below in the description so be sure to check that out. I don't want to give you the pricing details because I know they're going to change and I want to confuse you so be sure to check that out as the faster you get on it the better price you can get. So Jet Webinar pretty much is straightforward. I like the fact that it's going to be a one-time payment for software allowing you to save a a lot of money in the future and you can run both live and automated webinars. Let's check it out. So here's going to be what it looks like inside the dashboard. Just purchased this myself, just got to go through it quickly. Now I'm going to show you the demo of how it works. Once you get started, the cool thing about this is that it's actually going to show you what you can do to get up and running. It literally says, let's create an event. Now click here, now click here, now do this, now do that. So getting up and running is going to be pretty straightforward. Let's show you. Let's go to create event right here. And so here are the three things we can do. We can host a live webinar, we can host a pre-recorded or automated webinar, or host a meeting. I'm going to go with hosting a live webinar, then I'll walk you through the pre-recorded or automated webinar, which is going to be a very similar process, except you're pretty much just uploading a video that you already have that can keep getting replayed and replayed. Here's host a live webinar. All right, so this is going to be the live webinar title. Keep in mind, this is going to be shown when someone signs up right above where they opt in. So for this example, I'm just going to call it. All right, join the affiliate masterclass. You'll notice how I put join. Well, I'll show you when we get to it, okay? So we have our time zone. I'm going to be in Eastern time. I am in sunny Florida. Not very sunny today. We have our date and time. You know, you can change that for whenever you want. I'm just going to keep that and go to next. All right, your event setup is now complete, just like that. <laughs> Copy the link below and share it with your attendees. Click finish to further customize the event. So we do want to further customize it. Very easy to do when it comes to setup. That's a very good thing. All right, so we are under general right here. We have the specific URL. We have the webinar title. It's going to be free. You have the option of doing a free or paid, which is always good. We know it's live. We know it's Eastern. And you can also cancel the event and prevent further registration at any time should you want to do that. Let's go to style and kind of go right on through. So branding we have here. What we can do is just create our own branding. So if we go to brand and so on and so forth, let's say I want to go here, edit brand. You'll notice I have my own marketing island brand here. So like whenever I utilize that, I can have my branding up there if you want. A nice little way of easily creating multiple webinars so that you just keep reusing your brand and going back and forth. But let's say we wanted to like just go with default. That's fine. If we want to go with registration page, we can click on this. So I guess when it comes to the registration page, this is the one thing I could say could probably use a little bit more improvement. Not too bad, but you know, it's basic, which is also a very good thing. Every time I talk about creating any type of lead capture page, whether it's a webinar or just a squeeze page, the simplest tend to work the best. So we're going to have our headline and our sub headline, which are going to be up at top here. Let's just quickly add those in. All right, so I put how I create a full-time income using YouTube without focusing on viral videos. Both of those things are true. Just as an example, I'm going to click on save. I'm just going to X out of this. So this is going to be our big headline and a little bit extra. So that's not bad. If we want to utilize a background image, we can do that. Header style, style is going to be dynamic center. So if you wanted to do left, you could do like save and preview. I'm not a fan of that. I like the center, right? Just smack dab right in the middle. Form style can be full page or in line with header in case you want to see how that looks just like that. I kind of like the other one it makes it move up a little bit higher. Right, so you can actually see it there. So this is why I talked about join the master class. This is the title, but when you put join the master class, there's more of a call to action to it. And this is where we can add our name and name and email. You can also add additional sections there if you want to do that, but that looks pretty good. Let's save that. Let's X out of here and go back. Okay, we have email. Okay, these are going to be the notifications. You can obviously send a test email. The good thing about this, like a lot of webinar software, is that it already has these sections in here. So it's going to auto-populate the name of it, the date, when it starts, and so on and so forth. Aside from that, there's going to be some other ones. For example, they have reminder emails. You can send this out whenever you want. A good time to send it out would be like, you know, an hour before or like 10 minutes before, right when it's going to get started. There's follow-ups. It sends one to those who did not attend early abandonment, and of course, send email to all attendees in case you want to do that. So a wide variety of options here that are really going to help you increase your conversions. For example, if no one even attended these specific individuals, you definitely want to send an email to them because sending that one email could make the difference between making a lot more sales and just making none. Very easy to utilize there. We have presenters. Okay, let's add presenter. All right, great. So I probably don't need to bore you with this name, whatever your email address is, the role, and a picture there. I'm going to click on save. 
Okay, they've been added, we have registration. So this is where we talked about adding more fields. If you want to do last name and phone, I would recommend keeping it as that in case you needed those for some odd reason. The less fields you have, the more options or opportunity to convert. Because if someone had to, this, as an example, enter in 10 of these fields, they're like, no way, that's just going to take too much time. So leaner is better. Uh, there's a GDPR consent checkbox, require double opt-in if you want, and of course, enable custom thank you page should you want to do that. We have in-webinar options. Okay, so you can hide the participants list or you can enable webinar replay if you want. And of course, where do you want to send attendees when the webinar is finished? This is a good one because what I like doing is redirecting to a URL. So say someone got to the end of the webinar and say they had to use the bathroom and come back and it ended. What happens here is you can just send them to the checkout page. So, you know, they're already there. So they, in case they missed action about like, you have to click here or do this. It's just another way of getting people to what you're going to be looking to sell. Okay, we have some integrations here. Okay, Google Analytics, custom event conversion code, third-party integrations in case you want to utilize a couple of those there. And we have attendees, which is obviously going to show up once they are there. That's just a test one. So we can go back to the uh, dashboard. All right, and I meant to say live webinar is not dashboard, of course. So we can just have a quick look at this. So if we do view webinar, there we go. As we saw before, pretty simple. Not a lot going on there, but that's usually a good thing, right? Uh, this is where you can edit the branding. Obviously, you don't have to have Jet Webinar there where you have like your logo. For me, it would be Marketing Island and so on and so forth. And what we can do here is start the webinar. So I'm just going to do this and then close it just to show you because it's going to talk about wanting to use my microphone. And I'm already using that, so I don't want to cause any like disconnect between this and echoing and so on and so forth. But once you are in there, there are a variety of features that you can do, especially like when it comes to having a call to action where it says this is going to be what you're purchasing at the end of the webinar. Here's the link where you can click there and so on and so forth. Pretty straightforward to set up. Very quickly, I'm going to go through the automated webinars as well, because that's another very big section of having webinars is creating those auto and evergreen webinars. Okay, so let's go to create event. And what we can do is host a pre-recorded or automated webinar. So let's give it another title. I'm going to do the same thing. All right, so this one's called Join the New Affiliate Masterclass. I'm still in Eastern Time, and for the schedule, you can do run once, run hourly, run recurring, run on certain dates, or run instantly. Run instantly is going to get you the most amount of people watching, because it's just like, boom, takes them to the page, get ready to go. Uh, you can do run hourly. That's kind of a good way of you know having a little bit more segmentation to it, but I'm going to go with that. Let's click on next. Whatever you want to do is up to you there. Okay, and we're done just like that, but we have a little bit more to finish. Let's obviously click finish to further customize the event. Okay, so here we go once again, business as usual, right? So limit number of time options. So this is gonna show like, let's say like right now is 11 a.m. It's gonna show 11, 12, one, two, and three. But we can minimize this if you just wanna do like the next two hours. So if it was 11, it would show 11 and 12. That's what that means, you know, three is fine as well. Uh, event length is just simply going to be based upon how long the webinar will run, based upon the video that you have, obviously, since it's gonna be automated. Let's click on save there. We have style, okay. Registration page, webinar room. We didn't get to take a look at these, so I'm just going to quickly go with the webinar room just to kind of show you what it looks like. We have default in terms of the color, welcome message, uh, event over message. You can update that. You have replay over message, just preview it so, so you can see there. Event over, the webinar has ended. Thank you so much for participating. And then same thing with the replay and so on and so forth. And we have our welcome one. A few things to edit there, but let's go back. We also have our thank you page as well, but very similar to the registration page. I'm going to go with some of the other options here just because they're going to be slightly different. We have email, obviously. These are going to be the emails going out once again. Registration, same thing with this, exactly the same as the live webinar, but just with um, registration for the evergreen. We have in webinar options. So this is going to be a little bit more important. So automated webinar video. This is going to be where you add your specific video that's already recorded. Okay. And once you have this down, make sure you just go back and change how long the time is going to be. So it matches up with this. Okay. You can enable pause and rewind buttons. I wouldn't personally do that because technically if it is a quote unquote real webinar, it just plays on through. Okay. This is another good one. I would probably change around. So when an attendee arrives, always start the video at the beginning, even if they're a little late or start video at drop in point. I would do that one personally. So it's like if they missed five minutes of it, 
you know, it's going to be like, you know, it's starting at this time. And if you miss the five minutes, you miss the five minutes. However, you could go the other way and say like, hey, I want to make sure everyone sees everything when they arrive. So that's going to be up to you. There's chat moderation as well. So you can have moderated chat or you can hide chat. You can download the chat transcript and you have the ability to turn on or off the participants list. You can also add messages, which is cool. So what happens with this, if you're doing an automated webinar, something I've done in the past, people can still type in stuff. And what happens is when they do that, you can download the chat transcript and just put it back in for the name and what they said at the specific time. So it's kind of like accumulating messages over and over, which is cool. You have the automated call to action right here. This is going to be like, and the price is, you know, $997. I put the link on the right side. So if you click on that, you can get taken to so-and-so we can purchase XYZ today. We have the ability to enable webinar replays, which you'll probably want to do. And of course, where do you want to send the attendees when they're done? We talked about that previously. And of course, we have integrations and attendees and overall. So that's going to be the main gist of it when it comes to Jet Webinar. Extremely simple to set up. That's something I really like about this, especially for the fact that you can do live webinars, automated webinars, and they do have the other one right here where it's going to be uh, hosting a meeting should you want to do that. I'm going to hop over to the sales page just to kind of show you what comes along with it as well. All right, so here we are on the sales page for Jet Webinar. Like I said, I'm going to hide the prices just because they're going to be changing and I don't want to be wrong and say like, hey, I thought it was this price. It is a very time sensitive offer. But with the one time pricing that I got and I also recommend, we know that we get live webinars, we get meetings, we get automated webinars. A lot of these that you're familiar with, I do want to let you know that you can run up to 30 webinars a month. And that's a good amount of webinars. Like if you're doing a webinar a day, that's 30 webinars, right? Something to keep in mind, you do get 100 attendees. Like it would be cool if it was much more, but for a one-time pricing, this is still a fantastic deal. If you have a live webinar with a hundred people on it and they really like you and like you're selling something, you're probably going to be doing pretty well, especially if you at least know how to sell in the smallest amount of way. And if you're doing high ticket stuff, which is web what webinars are great for, I think you're going to do just well. So but overall, Jet Webinar is definitely worth your time, especially for the fact that it has a plethora of fantastic webinar features, bells and whistles, and that one time pricing, you just can't beat it. I will leave my link down below, and if you click that, you can get the best price. Make sure you check that out because it is going to rise over time. My name is James. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed my Jet Webinar review and walkthrough, and I'll see you in my next video.